Ugly baby Ugly baby Chainsaws, patatas, abliba, syrup, curtains, lake, rain. It's not a Sudoku. It's I a scrap book. So where do I write? No, no, it's not a puzzle. It's just, just. I think that's a five. It's Mummy Duck Chicken, Ripping T-shirt, Which nugget barbecued the door? Ohio is saucy. I wanna buy it. Lovely baby showdown. Highlights. Crazy Doctor Pickle versus Toxic Heart. Three Cuckoo Banana against a Meteor. There goes a Meteor. The banana, they're in the air. They're flying. Meteor hits. Ah! Crazy Doctor Pickle is on fire. He's burning. I can smell his flesh from here. Oh, Doctor Pickle is victorious. Ugly Baby Showdown. D. Envious versus Bobby Bobby with one B. D. Envious is throwing glue today. There it goes, the glue, and bacon is being returned by Bobby Bobby with one B. The bacon and glue are flying with the glue. Next, and Bobby Bobby is stuck against the wall. Lovely baby showdown. Bubble Guppies versus War Dragons. The Bubble Guppies have pulled out a blobby glue gun and it has struck the War Dragons, sending them. Baby Bob versus Slayers. Yeah, it's great to see Bob back after that horrible shaving accident last week. Now it's never a good idea to have a goatee. But here we go. Bob pulls out a pickle. And what? RBLC versus T-Boy. RBLC. Uh, pulling out. What is she on there? Oh, it's a box of legs. Thrown off T-Boy. A strike. Oh, did it hit? Showdown! War Dragons versus Bubble Guppies. It's a rematch and pairs were thrown the thing you threw a slot! Look at that! I'm gonna catch it, you I'm gonna... Ugly Baby Showdown! Can you keep a secret? Well, every night at 3 a.m., I sneak out of my parents' house and deliver creepy messages in my neighborhood. I forgot to deliver yours yesterday. So I'm just telling it to you now. Tonight, it's goodbye, not good night. No one knows this, but I once put my cat in the washing machine and she needed to go to cat therapy for two years. Wait, this isn't the bathroom. Ending this with meat. There was a multi dark wizard named Smile. Smile liked to quit rugs on dong 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 But it was hard for him to quilt because he was blind. One day, while out walking, he was run over by a bull. The bull said, Sorry, I thought you were very donkey. And walked away. Smile was flattened like a living pancake. He stood up and said, Oh, it's okay, Taco Meat. Amazingly, he could see again. He saw a man walking towards him. The man picked him up and put Smile on the trunk of his car. The man was actually a mer donkey who wanted to take the moldy dark wizard to his house because he was lonely. From the trunk, Smile called, Why did you capture me? I challenge thee to a duel of the blade. The mer donkey stopped the car, opened the trunk, and the two walked onto a conveniently placed battlefield. Smile used his wand to summon a spell to drown the mer donkey in a boiling pool of acid. <coughs> the man who turned out to be a mer donkey was actually a grandma, and when her grandson found out what Smile had done, he vowed to take revenge on the moldy dark wizard. The grandson was an adopted pigeon donut assassin. <gasps> The bull had watched the battle and knew of the adopted pigeon donut assassin, so he walked to Smile's mushroom home to warn him. 
The bull burst open the door and Smile said, What are you doing here, Taco Meat? I've come to warn you about the grandma's grandson, the Donut Pigeon. I know he's an assassin because I've hired him before. Taco Meat left. Smile didn't think much of it. Smile began quilting some bags to hold banana bombs because you never know when you might need to hold some banana bombs. You never know when you might need. You never know when you might need. You never know when you might need to hold banana bombs. You never know when you might need. You never know when you might need. You never know when you might need to hold banana bombs. When he finished the bag, Smile went out to pick some banana bombs. A Dr. Pity Don assassin came onto the tree and began an attacking Smile. That's when Smile remembered he had awesome dance moves and began break dancing on the adopted Pigeon Donut assassin, smushing him into the ground. To make sure he was dead, Smile blew up the body with a banana bomb and went to eat tacos, vegan tacos, with his buddy, Taco Mate. Words to Wound by, written by six-year-olds, performed by Bernard Appleton. A man ate a necktie, and his heart fell out. Bingo went the wind. It struck the heart, and it exploded. A bee stung me on the foot, and I looked at it under a microscope. It was small. A boy was walking down the road when a bird had a knife and it stabbed him. His heart turned to paprika and a spoon tried to eat him. A person with cramps turned into a dumpling and grew an extra belly button. A hammer fell on the dumpling's head. A crow ate the bones. Cats kept jumping into the water, and then millions of sharks ate them. They kept arguing over the cats. A kind alligator in a speedboat saved the cats, and they wore bow ties made of shoelaces. I have a baker's joke. What is it? Nice buns. <laughs> What's the best thing to put in a pie? <laughs> Your tea. <laughs> green, green. Okay, green. so a person is walking in front of this green screen. The green screens will be turned so it looks like a dark alley or something like that. Um, suddenly, the person is attacked, well, like attacked, by another person. The first person falls down, and when they're down, they put a green bag on their head, so it looks like they're decapitated. Then they stand up, and it, yeah, it looks like they're decapitated, and it's weird. Goodbye. Hey, Mom! Why did the biologist stop feeding her dolphins? I don't know why. She didn't see the porpoise in it. <laughs> knock, knock. Who is there? Interrupting dead person. Oh, feel free to enter my home. What, did you expect to get interrupted? They're dead. Are you coming in or not? <laughs> Yes, Daddy! Feudalism crusty pigeon jo- doge fell far from home an eight-bit roller blade. Yeah. Ugly baby! Axolotl. Pubs cannot bitcoin. Period. Dusty do- dogecoin. Enormous chicken. Elon Musk drives Toyota. Allo sticks, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> now clap silently. Your dad scares me. The lion's eye. There was a haunted castle that was attacked by lions. 
The castle was owned by kids, all boys. When they saw the lions attack, they went down a secret slide. At the bottom of the slide, there was a lion waiting for them. The lion ate all of the boys. They gave him a stomachache, and the lion threw them up. The boys turned into ghosts. The lion's stomach still hurt. He realized there was something else in his belly. It was a ten-year-old girl who he had eaten earlier that day. She climbed out of his throat. The ghost boys were frightened by the girl and floated away into the castle. The girl was angry at the lion and said, "Please don't eat me anymore." The lion roared, and the girl stood in a karate stance. The girl punched the lion in the mouth. Karate chopped him in the eye, and the lion ran away. The lion's eye fell out. The girl picked it up. The eye said, "Can I be your friend?" The girl said. No, thank you. I don't like slimy things, and you are slimy. The eyeball then rolled into her mouth and took out his pupil and used it like a tongue. The liquor hot, 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 hot. That's how the lion's eyeball and the girl became best friends. I have a scratch from a crocodile on my foot. Want to see it? <laughs> Don't tell anybody, but I spilled a smoothie on my sister on purpose. I'm a tape face. Putting on tape is actually very soothing and feels very good on your skin. The tape feels really comfortable. You know how in the morning you have morning breath and then you take a drink of water to get rid of it? That's kind of what it feels like. Sometimes if you're doing it near your mouth, it gets sort of weird, but it's or it's harder a bit breathe if you too, get too much in your nose, but it's definitely worth it. I felt kind of weird, but then when I looked at myself, I knew that it was the best thing I ever did. Scotch tape, blue tape, big tape. The tape actually feels oddly comfortable. You get to look like your own piece of tape. People think, "Oh, that seems uncomfortable," but it's, like I said a, a few seconds ago, it is comfortable. Tape, construction tape. Not at first, though. It, the tape gets a bit pokey, but after becoming a tape face, it it feels nice. Um, metal tape. Thought it would be fun being looking like a tape. The face gets very flexible. You can look like a piece of tape. You don't know what being comfortable is. <laughs> I'm actually a plumber. I really enjoy fixing toilets and helping people, and the bathroom is just my favorite place to be. Tiny broom maker. I'm often judged at how I look, but once I get my regular clients, I go to them often because I think that they purposefully break their toilets just to have me come. I'm actually really good friends with them. I enjoy helping them with their toilet, but new clients often stare at me and hate the way I look. I change light bulbs. Tiny people who need tiny rooms. I need tiny rooms to make a living. They need tiny rooms to sweep their houses. I eat rats. There's a lot of very smart tape faces who are really smart. They used to be scientists, some of them. Dingle Quandale. Mia P.P. Henderson. Tit Tit McBunglesna. James Harkamay. 
he um, he's a really good activist and also he figured out how to make some tape that so if we put it in our mouth it's not toxic. I have a camera tape face because I wanted to meet people who I could relate to. My parents, my grandparents, my great-grandparents. I didn't choose to. The tape face is part of my family tree. kind of goes I'm a, I'm a pet and you have to completely care for me. People did this to me. Go and do the dishwasher, put, make dinner. Like I think that my purpose is to just, you know, continue this legacy of tape facing. Tape facing is the best thing I've ever done in my life. My life before I became a tape face was, I, I was very lonely. I, I didn't really know what to do with my life. A lot of people hated me. I'm gonna put myself into a TV. Uh, I, a lot of stereotypes that I've heard are just like, that were crazy. Straight faces can be crazy. That, that were just horrible people with no feelings. It's not true. They're not allowed in schools because people think they're weird and that they have bad habits. I think people think this way because they don't like the way that we look and they think that because we're different, we don't belong with, in society with them. Uh, I hear all the stereotypes, man. I mean, like, I hear the stereotype that we are all, like, working for this one guy. Because they have tape on their faces for, like, 40 years. I hear that they look like tape. But we have, like, little tape face, like, gatherings. A big buffet. We type each other's faces. Tape my face. We, we, we talk about our feelings, eat pizza. Pizza, but all the toppings are tape? Well, I can't really eat that well. But if, you, if you actually got time to like know me, maybe you would like me a bit more and you would understand that I'm not just tape. I think it's like a really good group of people and it's not necessarily a cult. I mean, the guy who made tape faces, everyone thinks he's still alive and he just like became a ghost guy and we're all like bowing down to him or something, I don't know. When we dance and we stay in a group, there's not really like one person who we all work for or believe is like the boss of us. We just all like work as a community. And we'll just all be happy and dance in a circle. Tape faces sometimes migrate um, to different places to do special things. I get to go to Mars. My spaceship crashed into a big deep hole and all I had was a roll of tape. Aliens say, please test our spaceships. I think that people just think that because we all get along, we're a cult. And I'm like, man, we just get along. We're not a cult. What if you got along with someone and they said you were a cult? That's not a thing. Do you think the tape face community is actually a cult? Yes. You think so? Yes. Join the tape face. Chickens. Who laid explosive eggs? The eggs were used to kill other chickens that the demon would eat. One day, after eating some exploded chicken, the demon went into the town and felt sick. The townspeople offered him a popsicle. While he was eating it, they face painted him with other popsicles until he looked like a clown. The clown demon heard his tummy rumble. He started barfing rainbows and bits of exploded chicken. And a giant cyborg mega chicken flew from his mouth. The cyborg mega chicken laid an egg that fell and splattered on the townspeople. They all shrunk into the ground. The demon laughed at the townspeople. When the cyborg mega chicken heard him, he started chasing the demon. The demon ran into the forest, saw a hamburger restaurant called Hamburger Princess, and realized he was hungry. The demon went into the restaurant and the cyborg mega chicken followed. 
He hid under the table and ordered a burger, but inside that burger was a princess. The princess said, I'm a horrible person! Please stab me! That's when the sideboard mega chicken destroyed the building! The princess screamed, Have you ever stabbed me already? The demon replied, But I'm a demon, I like horrible people. And he threw her in the air to set her free. The princess fell into the wreckage of the building. She whistled, bringing on a murder of crows. The cyborg mega chicken stepped on the princess and squished her. And the murder of crows attacked and killed the cyborg mega chicken. That's when the demon realized he had enough of chicken. He had enough chicken. He summoned a giant fish, rode it home like a horse, and baked a cake. Devil's food cake. I'm no longer allowed to kick ponies. I, I've never told anyone this, but. Uh, but I'm not allowed to eat eggs anymore because I microwave them and the entire microwave explodes along with the eggs. How about now? Wait, is that? No, this is the wrong foot. Wait, is it? No, it's not. What kind of shorts do clouds wear? What? Thunderwear. <laughs> Why couldn't the pigeon go on the school bus? Why? Because it didn't have a good brain. Oh, that's not nice to Why was the kid's report card all wet? Why? Because it was below sea level. What's a pig's favorite karate move? What? A pork chop. No! Knock, knock. Who's there? Namaste. Namaste who? Namago. Get off of my pole! Knock knock. Hello? Alaska. Come in! Alaska is someone else if you don't understand. You're not my doctor. Get off of this thing, please. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Mary. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Susan. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Angela. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Candace. Hi, Kevin. Hello, Pamela. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Del Obama is a light switch. Baby sandwich ducks. <laughs> Your neck smells good. Knock it. More than an explosion. A llama man jelly donuts camera. Eclipse female dogs, Missouri. Crusty toes, toast. I told you he'd talk about toast. He knows what you did. Completely quiet. Settle down. Sit up straight. One and a two and a one, two. Eyes are low. Which runs round my head. Got big when the ball made a flatulent sound. Eyes are low. Which runs round my head. Got big when the ball made a flatulent sound.
don't tell anyone, but I have a lizard tail and I have to chop it off every month. Don't tell anyone this, but I let a wolf into the house and it ate the whole refrigerator. Now can you see it? Can you see my foot? Can you? Don't tell anyone when I saw Brian Marcus.